0.875 as a fraction that is this is a decimal number and we have to convert this decimal number to fraction look p by q is a fraction right this p is the numerator and q is the de denominator so we have to express this number like this so to do so at first we have to uh, we have to apply the rule number one we have to drop the decimal point and make this number the numerator of the fraction look this so we have to drop this decimal point and after dropping decimal point we are getting this number so this will be the numerator and now we need to write the denominator denominator of the fraction is the place value of the last digit of the decimal so last digit here is 5 so this is 10th uh, place then 100th place then 1000 plus so we have to write here 1000 right so look already we have converted this decimal number to a fraction right so here is the another way look so let us uh, delete this uh, number at first I am going to give you the alternative way so look so first you have to drop this decimal number then you have to for decimal you have to take one and after a decimal for every digit you have to take zero so take zero four eight then take zero four seven then five that is we are taking uh, one for decimal then uh, we are writing zero for every number after decimal right so this is the uh, second way so let us uh, show the third way right look so at first we have to drop the decimal uh, uh, decimal and we have to write the number as numerator then we have to take 10 right right so we have to write 10 and after t after writing 10 you have to take the power of the 10 so for every digit the power of 10 uh, will be like this for one digit two digits three digit three digit right so the power of the uh, 10 will be 3 right so that is for every digit you have to uh, add one power right 1 2 3 3 so 10 10 to the power 3 means 1000 right at at last now you have to reduce this uh, fraction to it, it to its lowest term so let us uh, show how to do this so look we can rewrite this uh, 1000 like 100 times 10 that is if you uh, divide this 1000 by 10 you will the quotient will be 10 the quotient time divisor will be the dividend however we can split this uh, 1000 as small number right now we have to split this 875 look this this number has 5 at the last so this is divis divisible by 5 so 875 look if you divide 5 what will happen 5 goes into 8 one times let us write 5 so if you uh, subtract then you will getting 3 right so bring down this 7 so 37 5 goes into 37 how many times if you take 7 times 7 times 5 35 right so look if you subtract you are getting 2 and bring down this 5 5 goes into 25 5 times right 25 0 so if you multiply this 175 times 5 you will get 875 that is this is quotient times divisor equal to dividend 875 that is we can split this 875 as like this right so let us uh, delete this so look so we can easily uh, cancel this 5 by split this uh, number 10 look how 175 times 5 
we can we can split this 10 as 5 times 2 that is 10 now this 5 and this 5 cancel each other so we are getting here 175 divided by 100 times 2 right we can also reduce this number right look at look at look how this number has 5 at the last so 175 is divisible by 5 5 goes into uh, the 75 3 times 3 times 5 15 if you subtract you are getting 2 so bring down this 5 5 goes into 5 5 times that is we can split this 175 as 5 times 35 5 times 35 right we can also split this 100 like 10 times 10 and also we can split this uh, 10 as 5 times 2 right so this 5 and this 5 cancel each other so we are getting here look 7 35 so this 5 this 5 cancel each other so we are getting this right look we can also sp split this number 35 like this 7 times 5 and also we can split this 10 as 2 times 5 right so this 5 this 5 cancel each other so we are getting 7 over 2 times 2 times 2 so we are getting 7 over 2 times 2 4 4 times 2 8 right 7 <coughs> over 8 is the answer you scan you can reduce this fraction right